Yeah, I see why. This is, see, the scoring system is working. Eight and a half. Let's dive in, another battle. All right, running shoe reviews are rapidly approaching, but this battle, Saucony, actually let's pull them off the shelf. Here we go, Saucony Kinvara 13 is the yellow one, and the other yellow one is the New Balance Fresh Foam Tempo V2. All right, so don't, not to be confused, they look very similar, actually even white midsoles to boot, actually very, and similar outsoles as well. Wait a minute, Saucony and New Balance, are you talking to each other? All right, here we go. Release dates on your screen, 6-15-2022, and then 6-1. So they came out within two weeks of each other, uh, the earlier in the summertime. There's the drops and weights on your screen. Okay, soak it in real quick. Uh-huh. Saucony Kinvar 13 is the winner winner chicken dinner for the weight. They're both very lightweight, but that's why many, many people actually raise your hand in the comments. Who owns the Saucony Kinvar 13? One word to describe the shoe. Smooth. Yeah, smooth as butter. Yes, it's just smooth through the, the foot strike. I don't... You know, I think probably because they're not overthinking the midsole. It's just a smooth, simple ride. And it's really nice just to zone out a little bit when you're running in the K13. All right, we're looking at single layer mesh for the Kinvara 13 and then engineered hypo knit over here. So definitely, I bet a lot of the weight of the Tempo V2 as far as being a little heavy, it's, it's in that hypo knit. Hypo knit's not bad. It's a little thicker. And it's a, you know it's it's stretchy, it's malleable to the foot, but it's just uh, it's a little thick. All right, it's a little old. I'll just say old school at this point. That hypo knit uh, compared to some other upper materials out there. Lockdown score, there it is on your screen. K13 all day long. Uh, now, if your foot has a lot of volume, all right, maybe your shoes, maybe your shoe size is not huge. Maybe you're an eight and a half, but just like the girth of the foot, your foot is, is thick, you might wanna not get the shoe, the K13, because I think you're gonna be too snug or you're gonna need to size up a half size, hopefully not a full size if you really love the shoe. Just keep it in mind, whereas, whereas, all right, the hypo knit could potentially stretch around the top of your foot. All right, so keep that in mind for the upper. All right, moving on to Power Run Plus over here in the K13, and we're looking at Fresh Foam X. As far as rides are concerned, a little snappier over here, and there's the scores on your screen for the uh, the ride and energy return, but then also the uh, the overall scores as well. Uh, so a little snappier and a little um, springier. All right, basically softer in the Tempo V2. So if you like a little softer, a little more forgiveness under step, I go Tempo V2 versus K13. Just it's a, it's got a nice snap. I would snap through a tempo run any day in the shoe, you know? And, for, oh, this is all, actually, no. Yeah, I see why. This is, see, the scoring system is working eight and eight and a half. Now, anything over eight is a great score in the studio. But look at, there's quite a bit more rubber on that Tempo V2, and there's hardly any in the K. That's why I got eight and a half, and that's why it's winning, winner, winner, chicken for the outsole of the K13. All right, ties for the fit. Nice fits all around. Comfort score, though, is going Tempo V2. Mostly, actually, let's do the durometer real quick here. Hold on. I'm getting, ooh, 31. That's interesting. All right, putting it to the test here. 46. What am I telling you? All right, so that durometer is playing out real well, which is why the comfort score is winning over here. 31. I mean, that is that is very that is quite that's like rebel territory with respect to the softness scale. All right, last but not least, we're looking at the price point. And yes, they're both uh, listed down below in the description. Moving on now, last but not least, overall winner of the shoe battle, seven categories to the K13. I'd buy it again in a heartbeat. Not a bad shoe. Not bad, but it's not a big, it's not a baby blue, if you know what I mean. Um, so K13 winner, winner, chicken dinner of the running shoe battle. Question of the day: K actually Kinvara lineup fans, which Kinvaras have you uh, ran in? Whether it's the 12, the 11, the the nine, maybe you go way, way back to like the fives. All right. So when did you start running in the Saucony Kinvara lineup? All right, that's a better way to 
phrase. The question of the day, comment of the day going to the running dad. My favorite shoe to run in is the Rebel V2, but my overall favorite is the Reebok Float Ride 3.0. Very interesting. I use it for mid-distance recovery, up-tempo runs. It is an extra durable, loose as a goose type of shoe. <laughs> Put the goose on the screen. I paid $60 for it on Black Friday, but even at the full price, $100 makes it my favorite train. Can't beat that price point. I hear what you're saying, the running dad. Thanks for that comment of the day from a while ago. And speaking of, ooh, see, that's, that's interesting. Let's see. Yeah, about the same on the twist test. Uh, yeah, maybe a little bit loosey-goosey loosey over here. Onward and upward, we will toss it to um, the running shoe battle playlist. That's where these shoes will end up. Thank you for whoever's idea it was to do this battle on the Facebook group, which, as always, is listed in the description. All right, everybody, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.